All right, now we're on page 36, lesson two, in our chapter on, on matter. Lesson two is about molecules. Here are some of the learning objectives about molecules over here on the left side. After reading this lesson, you should be able to describe the size of molecules, explain what a molecule is, explain how molecules move in each of the three states of matter, solid, liquid, gas, and describe plasma, which is a kind of energy. Lesson two, molecules. How would you describe the sugar shown in the figure below? You might mention that sugar is a material made of matter. You might tell about its properties, such as its color, taste, texture, or feel. Now think about how you might describe a single grain of sugar. You probably would say that it is very small. But how small is the smallest piece of sugar? Size of molecules. Each grain of sugar is made of even smaller particles that are too tiny for you to see. You cannot see them. These tiny particles are called molecules. Molecules are the smallest particle of a substance that still have the properties of that substance. Each molecule of sugar has exactly the same properties. How small can molecules be? Molecules of some substances are so small that billions of them could be placed side by side on a line one center long. Page 37. Describing molecules. Look at the water spraying out of the fountain in the photo. Imagine dividing one drop of this water into smaller and smaller drops. The smallest drop you could make that still had the properties of water would be one molecule of water. The caption to the picture reads, this fountain contains or has billions of molecules of water. We'll talk about what we see in this picture in a moment. In general, all water molecules are alike. A water molecule from the fountain is the same as a water molecule in a raindrop, in a lake, or in the water you drink at the water fountain. The figure on the left, that's this, shows a molecule of water. You can see that each water molecule has three parts, one large part and two smaller parts. If you divided a water molecule into its three parts, it would, not be, it would no longer be a molecule of water. The parts would no longer have the properties of water. When a water molecule is divided into its separate parts, each individual part is called an atom. An atom is a building block of matter. A water molecule has three atoms. Each kind of atom has its own properties. All matter is made of atoms. 38. States of matter. On this page we'll be talking about density, solid, liquid. Let's go to the text. States of matter. You can describe matter by telling about its properties. For example, you might tell about its mass or density. The form that matter has is another one of its properties. There are three forms of matter in the photo below. Can you find them? The boats 
and the rocks are solids. A solid is a form of matter that has a definite shape and volume. The molecules in a solid attract or pull toward each other. In a solid, molecules vibrate, which means that they move back and forth very quickly, but they stay close together. For this reason, a solid keeps a certain shape and volume. The caption to the picture reads, how many solids, liquids, and gases do you see? Um, I'm sure we'll be able to answer this once we go to the text. The water in the photo is a liquid. A liquid is a form of matter that has a definite volume but no definite shape. The pull between the molecules is weaker in liquids than it is in solids. The molecules can slide past each other. A liquid can change its shape because its molecules can move around easily. Page 39. Here we'll be talking about gas, state of matter, Plasma. Suppose or imagine you had a liter of water in a container. If you poured the liter of water into a container that had a different shape, the water would still take up one liter of space, but its shape would be different. The water would take the shape of the new container. Notice the shape of the helium balloon in the photo on page 38. Here is our balloon, remember from page 38. Helium is a gas that fills the balloon. Gas is a form of matter that has no definite shape or volume. The molecules of a gas are much farther apart than they are in a liquid or a solid. The attraction between the molecules in a gas is very weak. The gas molecules will always fill a container completely. A container of water can be half full, but a container of gas will always be completely full. The volume of a gas can change. These forms of matter, solid, liquid, gas, are called states of matter. Notice in this picture we have the three states of matter. The figure illustrates how the molecules move in each of these three states of matter. If you look closely at the picture, you can see that the molecules in the solid are close together and, and not moving very much at all. In the liquid, the molecules are farther apart and they're moving more than in the solid they're sliding past each other and in the gas they're really moving around much more quickly and uh, there's more space between the molecules. Let's talk about plasma. Matter can exist in a fourth state called plasma. Plasma is a very hot gas made of particles that have an electric charge. The particles of plasma shake violently at very high temperatures when it's very hot. Plasma is very rare on Earth. That means we don't see it very often in natural settings on Earth. But all stars, including our star, the Sun, are balls of plasma. Scientists believe, or scientists estimate, that 90% of all matter in the universe is plasma. Page, 49, uh, page 40 is the end of lesson two, and we have some review questions that are worth looking at. Let's just go through them quickly. Number one, can you see a single molecule, that means one, can you see a single molecule of sugar? Yes or no? Explain your answer. Two, what parts make up a molecule of water? 
three. Describe how molecules move in each of the three states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas. Number four, what is plasma? Number five, in which form of matter are the molecules close together? Solid, liquid, or gas? Number six, which form of matter has a definite shape and volume? Solid, liquid, or gas? Seven, which form of matter has no definite shape but has a definite volume? Solid, liquid, or gas? Eight, which form of matter takes the shape of its container? Solid, liquid, or gas? Nine, where is most plasma located? And number ten, in which state of matter is the attraction between molecules very weak or the weakest, solid, liquid, or gas.